Hello, this is Craig. Uh, a lot of people wanted me to get back into the Minecraft-ish sort of tutorials, uh, so okay. Uh, I was, uh, I lost the old computer and the old stuff got destroyed and I was very despondent and I wasn't very happy about it, so it's hard to work on a tutorial when you're feeling real down about that particular game. So uh, I had to wait a while, but now I feel inspired to make another Minecraft-like, so I'm going to go ahead and make one, and I'm going to take you through every single step I take. Uh, line by line, so you can follow along if you'd like. You can make the same game I'll be making. All of the assets are going to be public domain. Uh, I'll release them in the public domain. Uh, or you can just use it as a stepping stone for your own project. Uh, this is going to be a let's program, so every single thing I do will be on the screen. There's not going to be any fast forwarding. The only thing is I'll occasionally pause when I need to debug or can't figure something out. If you're following along but you can't get your project to work, you can download the project because I'll post download links at the end. Uh, but make sure that if you ask a question, when you figure out the answer, don't delete your question from the comments. Instead, reply with how you fixed it because later on someone else will have the same question and they'll be able to read the comments. And chances are it's because I didn't explain something clearly, so everyone's going to have the same questions. So this is a new project here in Unity. I'm going to be using Unity Pro, but most of the things I'll be doing, you can use you, all of the core things you can do just fine in Unity Basic. Uh, I'll make sure to delineate which things you need to have a workaround if you're using Unity Basic. This episode, we're just going to set up this particular um, uh, project. So we're going to go ahead and include a couple of assets. We're going to import a couple of packages here. We want the character controller package. And we want the skybox package, because I like skyboxes. Now, uh, last time I imported all of these skyboxes, um, but they all get packaged up when I try and share it. So I'm only going to include the one skybox that I actually want. And that is going to be the Sunny 1 skybox. So we'll go down to the Sunny 1... Here it is. Directory. And those are the only ones we actually want. And that way the download will be reasonably uh, um, plausible. And you can see that those imported just fine. So let's go ahead and create just a field, uh, a cube. We'll make it a cube. And let's put it at 0, 0, 0. And this will just be our thing to show just as we start getting started. Uh, it's not going to be anything permanent. It's just a placeholder. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit wide and deep. And let's go into our character controller and drag on a first person character. Blonk. Let's go ahead and move it up so it's not within the block. Now the first person character comes with its own main camera, so we don't need this one anymore. <laughs> Goodbye. Now if we hit play, it just works. But everything is dark. By the way, the low, the low frame rate is because I'm recording this in a massive window for your uh, uh, viewing pleasure, so you shouldn't have any frame rate problems with something this simple. There are two things we need to do. The first is we need to add a light. So create a, oh, no, sorry, component, uh, sorry, game object, create other, and then we want to add a directional light. Now, directional lights are great because even in Unity Basic, you can just turn on shadows. Um, apparently, this doesn't cast any shadows, so let's go ahead and make it so it does. Uh, so here we have the graphics inside of the first person controller. Let's just go ahead and make it cast a shadow so that we have some impression of where we are. The next thing we need to do is go into this main camera and we're going to go ahead and add ourselves an asset. Uh, create a... Is it, is it add? Well, oh, component. I'm sorry, component. Uh, let's go ahead and add a rendering component, a skybox and do that while the camera is highlighted and it'll add the skybox to the camera and then we can just drag the skybox into the camera and now when we hit play we have a beautiful skybox and a white place for us to stand and a place for us to fall off of goodbye ah. so the question is how much further do I want to go in the first episode hmm Yeah, this might actually be a good place to stop, because that way, when we start episode 2, all of you can be on the exact same page with the exact same project, because you can download this project, doesn't have any scripts in it yet. 
All right, so why don't I go ahead and do that? Let's end this here and move on to episode two right away.